Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode we explored the sanitarium and we got a new, uh, some new answers for what the hell the Leaden Key are up to. But we also had to kill, like, a few patients and a few guards. Because, um, Ophaos, our cannon, turned them against us. So we'll have to fight our way out of here. And hopefully someone will back us up in our actions here. So to recap, we have uh, explored three different Leaden Key operations. In the first one, they had a device that um, made it so souls wouldn't leave the dead bodies. So they basically became zombies. And um, insane. Insane. There's no Z in insane. Um, and the second one was Cleavon Relag, where they were deliberately making holoborns in the area. And this one where uh, our cannon, Thales or cannon himself, was, um, uh, per, or, um, whoa. Oh no, wicked. Wait, why is there wicked here? Anyway, in this one we found out that Theos has been possessing people in order to sabotage Anamancer's experiments. Oh, so, uh, all these, maybe, are these patients? That was somehow made into wicks all of a sudden? By Theos. What a son of a bitch. Come on, kill this guy, and maybe we can get out of here. We'll probably have to go uh, talk to uh, the Anamancer in question, who had his work sabotaged by Theos. He might uh, be uh, happy to hear about that, actually, because it means his work almost worked. Cade Manezo. Let's see what he has to say. What have you done? Well, you've been experimenting on patients against their wills, mangling their souls. I have witnessed it with my own eyes. How could you possibly? Look, it had to be done. Aethelmore and the others, they took everything from me. Everything when I was this close. I had to know. Had to know where I failed and why. Imagine the value if I'd succeeded. I had something that could make all those hollow-born infants into something like a real person. And with a few more patrons and a few years of research, who knows? No one has come that close with the legacy. It's why I have to continue. Why I have to risk everything here working in secret. It's why you have to lie to Aethelmore for me. Tell him you cleared me of all suspicion. You know, I have a feeling that once we stop the Leaden Key, the hollow-born will... Uh, cease to exist, or we'll have an option to fix that. Uh, I'm gonna expose you. Then I can't let you get in my way either. Well, screw you then. I had a feeling that's where it was gonna go to. Sucks to be you. Research journal... and... Oh, patient record for Graham. Oh wait, did Graham... Graham was one of the guys who attacked us, right? I'm pretty sure he was, so he's probably dead. We're probably have to gonna... gonna have to fight our way out. What? Where did you come from? Well met, friend. You guys weren't here a second ago? What the hell? I guess that means everything is back to normal. I had to uh, take care of Azo before everything got back to normal. Alright, so let's head on back to Aethelmore and report in on the events of the sanitarium. And then we'll head back to Lady Webb and tell her about our adventures and see what our next step is to fight the Leaden Key. Away for more! Mr. Statue! What in the blazes happened down there? You were given permission to ask questions! Um, I had things under control until I killed the Leaden Key spy. At which point he possessed a flesh construct. Now... Let's say this. It's complicated. A patient of yours, Usgrim, was working for the Lenin Key only without knowing it. You finish your explanation and Aethelmore breaks his silence. I have read accounts of people in history who could do what you describe. The accounts are few and brief and never reliable. Some go as far as to suggest 
that they are all the same person. If truly such a person was here among us, plotting a ruin, would that I had a body again and could be of some real use in our time of need. I fear what the future may hold for this place. I'm great grateful you were able to dispatch the threat before there were loss of innocent life. We very nearly had another scandal on our hands. What of Azo? What part of this experiment play in this catastrophe? Well, I confronted him as it was for to kill him. Such a waste. There was none more gifted working here. In time I had hoped to rehabilitate, rehabilitate his image, but a mind like his so full of ideas leave little room for patience. I would inquire more into the matter, but in truth you have done this institution a favor. Were his transgressions ever to reach the public, there would be a terrible uproar. I was blind to have trusted him a second time. I trust you will be more careful, cautious in uh, future inquiries. Maybe. How do you do? I'm done here. Let's head back to Lady Webb and see what she has for us. I have returned, Lady Webb. Let's talk. First we'll quick save, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. How fares your search? There is something I can tell you about the Leaden Keys operations. Well, let's hear it. I already told her about the tower. Let's go with... The one in order that we've done. The Leaden Key is manipulating a group of Anguiffen machines that span the country, and it seems to be causing the Hollowborn epidemic. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. I found Theos in Brackenberry's sanitarium impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion on animancy. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. That's very reassuring, thank you for that. I'm never gonna sleep again. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithin technology to engineer Wyvern's legacy, and they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominell. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. All right. What of them? Um, alright, we could go with the Dunrood uh, row, but I want to go with the Dozens, I think. Or uh, Crucible Knights. I'm not really sure. Well, we had a Crucible Knight, or a Dozen quest, didn't we? To, um... Yeah, we gotta find the Giant Slayers at Wooden Plains. So let's head on over there. 
They're probably up here, right? Yeah, there they are! Whew, I had a feeling because of this uh, wagon with the supplies. And I have a feeling that because of the name of the quest, the bronze beneath the lake, we're gonna go back to uh, that... Um, I think it was in... Was it in Durford or Stormwall Gorge? There was like a ruin we couldn't uh, access. And there was like flooding and stuff. Where we couldn't access uh, an area. So I think we're gonna go there. After that. Bean eyes you with amusement. But his voice carries menace. You must be lost, pup. The giant slayers don't share bounties. Weenan sent me to help. Weenan sent you. You think you can get the weapons? You've got two problems, Rookie. A flooded entrance for one, and crucible patrols for another. We've seen more knights than face painters out there. Why are the knights of the crucible here? Damned if I know. They're glorified thugs in armor, and usually prefer their feathered beds to camp cots. I'd got one in an instant, but I can't collect bounties as a wanted man. Tell me about the flooded entrance. Must be the rains. We found this in the water, though. He holds up a flat circular piece of Aedra and drops it into a pouch on his belt. Not much natural Aedra around here. Must be a key of some kind. Couldn't experiment much with the damn knights prowling around. So what do you know about the weapons? Weenan's paying good coin for them. That's all I need to know. Alright, now what? That's an interesting question. You see, we never ever share bounties. Oh no, they put their hands on the weapons. That's Weenan's problem, not mine. You should talk to your employer. I'll have words with Weenan, don't worry about that. You still shouldn't have come. Oh, come on. Can't we work together on this? I don't know where Weenan finds the likes of you. Sure, pup, we'll work together. Just hold still and you can help my friends with target practice. You son of a bee! Even if you were able to uh, get through this, which you aren't, Weenan is probably not gonna be very happy about this. But I guess we're gonna start the combat. You are gonna mark that son of a bee and focus on him with you. And you are gonna rush in and help him with that. You could launch in the pr into the fray. See how that works. And you... Actually, are you not in combat right now? Because these guys aren't... Huh. It's not... Uh, all the spells aren't available right now. And you are gonna do... Wicked Briars. Sure, why not? Over there. Get to it. And of course, they're on Durant's. Why did you have to rush in there? What a son of a bee. And you might want to do one of those. And you might want to do that. And we'll see how we want to do next. Recall Agony, Phantom Foes. No. Let's do some high level stuff. Like a silent scream. Can I do it on both of them? No. How about both of them? It's not friendly combat or friendly fire enabled, so I'll do that. And you can do one of these. Also not friendly fire. On there. Where are you? Is that you? No, that's a Tumac. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Try to knock this sucker down. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do some good plays. And you might want to go for the caster right there. Try to snap him out of it. That's done. And they have Druid as well. Try to kill him. And you might want to try to heal both of these guys. Uh, we'll have to make do with that. And you guys kill him. And you heal yourself. Come on! Come on, Durant! Heal yourself! What a bitch! Uh -huh. Well, down goes Durant. That was dumb of him. Very, very dumb. How about we do one of these? 
But I think we got this. Let's just kill him. You did this, you sons of bees. I tried to be reasonable, but you insisted on dying. Fine, 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 fine. Fine medium shield. Let's see how that works. Exceptional leather armor. Exceptional male armor. Crested hat. Spirit shield. Get the rest of that in there. Fine quarter stuff and nothing. A whole pile of nothing. But ah, the ruins in Stormwall Gorge, as I thought. So let's head on over there. Now we better be very careful here because they did say that there were crucible knights patrolling this place. And we don't want to anger them any more than we have. We gotta get to there, and there we have one. So we want to try to make it in there without being spotted. And I think the, yeah, the unlocking mechanism is over there. Deer, go away. Are we good? We might be good. Get in there. The starlight illuminates a pattern in the ground. You kneel to take a better look. The stone hair has been carved with a few simple shape uh, shapes. You see where it appears to be riding, blah blah blah. Place the Aether Disc. The stone rests easily in the space and you feel air rushing into tiny gaps in indentation. It appears to be hold, held firmly in place now. You hear the sliding of stone underneath your feet and a sudden rush of water. The pool before you begins to drain. Sweet. Now we gotta make our way over there before being spotted. Let's be sneaky. Can we get it? Get in? We made it! Sweet! Find the weapons of Leia Remen. For the dozens. They're probably gonna love me after I find these stuff. And uh, give me an invitation to the Duke. Wait. Can I not go down here? Duty before self. Oh, we gotta go up here. So maybe if I... Uh, drain the water or something. I can go down there. You hear grating and grinding coming from the stone head above you. The chips of Aedra in its eye sockets glow bright green. A voice deep and resonant echoes from the stone mouth. What begins as a gargle of language resolves itself into your own mother tongue. There is no truer blade than essence forged in bronze. Turn twice to the left and prepare your souls for its reckoning. Turn twice to the left. Noted. Oh shit! I'll take a look. I don't think he saw us before we uh, went into stealth, so we did get a sneak attack, I think, for the first hit. So let's take the Widowmaker out, and we want to turn left twice. Let's follow his instructions for now, and we'll explore further later. Left twice, so left over here as well. Let's just annoy, uh, avoid you. Not annoy you, avoid. This is where our reckoning is supposed to be. Let's see, shades. Am I using my spirit? No. I am now. Leave it to me! Get in there. And you summon your friend. You summon... This, right over there, you summon this, right over there, the Tumak is in the effect, but that's gonna have to uh, be a thing that happens, can I get as many of as possible here, try to get them, and you Hulk out, now would be the time, and take this guy out. Everyone is on Durand's, not good. And you try to uh, do one of these on the ones nearby us. That might help a bit. And then all of you guys go for this one first. 
Aelof is down because I'm a dummy. Everyone is going down because I'm a dummy dummy. <sighs> Maybe you should summon something. Something good like that. Durant is probably gonna go down as well. How about a, a repulsing seal? What? Lavaro. No, Durant goes down. But I think we got this. That wasn't the very uh, best fight so far, to say the least. But they are going down, and we are gonna have to rest before our next adventure. However, that is gonna be a tale for another day. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.